In this problem, to factor it completely, we first look for a greatest common factor, and there is none. So then we say there are four terms. The only way to factor four terms is to try grouping. So what I'm going to do here is group the first two and the last two. In the first two, I have a greatest common factor of x squared. If I divide that out, I'm left with 1x plus 2 when I divide each of these terms by x squared. Now, in my second grouping, I have a common factor of 3. So if I pull the 3 out, I'm left with x in the first term, and dividing 6 by 3 gives me 2. Now, I can immediately see grouping is going to work because I can see that I do have the common factor of x plus 2. So that means I can divide out the x plus 2 as the greatest common factor. When I do that, with this first term, it leaves me the x squared. And with the second term, it leaves me the plus 3. Now, I still want to check each of these binomials to see if they can be broken down any further. But with only two terms, the difference of squares or the sum or difference of cubes are my only options. I have no squares here, and this is a sum of squares, which we cannot factor. So that means this is the completely factored form for this problem.